Guys, preeclampsia are there any types? Yes, there is mild and severe. So basically, mild means less than uh, 160 millimeter of mercury for systolic and uh, less than 110 for uh, diastolic. Severe means greater than 160 systolic and greater than 110 uh, diastolic. Okay, diastolic pressure is more important than systolic. Remember. And protein excretion, protein urea is a better criteria than blood pressure. So protein excretion greater than um, uh, 5 gram uh, for 24 hours is uh, severe uh, preeclampsia. If there is oliguria, if there is platelet count less than 1 lakh, if there is HELP syndrome, then it is severe preeclampsia. If there is cerebral visual disturbances, it is severe preeclampsia. If there is severe epigastric pain, then it is um, uh, severe preeclampsia. If there is retinal hemorrhage because of all this hypertension, exudates, if there is papilledema, that is your uh, optic disc something, right, optic nerve. So here also they are talking about, um, what am I saying, uh, severe preeclampsia. So you have to keep checking eyes also looks like intrauterine growth restriction there is of, is there of the baby okay because of all this uh, vasoconstriction and everything so the intrauterine growth restriction is there that means it is severe preeclampsia if there is pulmonary edema because of this hypertension there is pulmonary edema edema is there in preeclampsia okay that we know but if there is pulmonary edema, edema it becomes severe preeclampsia why is this epigastric pain there? Epigastric pain is, because, is there because of liver, okay, because of liver uh, abnormalities. Enlargement of liver can happen, liver ischemia can happen. So, all that can uh, lead to uh, um, epigastric pain, okay. So, all this will classify as severe preeclampsia.